Design will be a very important part of the success of the projects that you guys produce in this class and the grades thereof. And so let's begin by talking about the basic elements and principles of design. The point is the most basic uh, design element. If you put a series of points together, you will create lines. If you put lines together, you create shapes. A sense of direction is very important in uh, design. Tone or value. If we look at the color chart on the left, you'll see that uh, luma, or brightness, is really the only difference in each of these colors. Color and hue are all, will also be very important elements that you will choose when you're doing your designs. Um, if you look at the circles on the right, because we're dealing in video, we RGB space is what we'll be using uh, primarily, and the opposites of those colors are yellow, magenta, and cyan. Texture is a very important element. It creates that tactile feeling that helps draw your viewer into the uh, message that you're trying to tell. Fonts are also incredibly important. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about fonts. Fonts are the kinds of things that you're going to need to spend some time dating and getting to know and deciding if they really belong in your project or not. And the last element is space, um, which in our world is the shape of our canvas. And for our projects, we'll be dealing with 1080p, so we will be dealing in a 16 by 9 shaped canvas. Now if we take all those elements, we could then apply them to design principles. The first is foreground background, right? Creating a sense of depth with our object by putting our objects on those three different spaces. Balance is also an important uh, design principle. The sense of symmetry versus asymmetry. Scale is another design principle that we'll be using. We also have the continuum between using regular shapes versus irregular shapes. Rhythm, repetition, and pattern will all be applied in uh, interesting ways in your projects. A sense of harmony, unity versus tension. The picture on the left seems very unified by the way that it's been designed. Or the object on the right, there is a sense of tension because the uh, millionaire character is falling. The object on the left feels more unified because the line and shape draws us to the center. Where the object on the right looks like it's defying the law of gravity and also might fall. Unity is tying all of these elements in your compositions together. Think about where your eye goes. And when you look at this picture below, the first thing you see is the panda bear. And then he directs our attention with his eyes up to the headline. And then our eyes follow down all of the text. Contrast is a really important element. Notice how black is the first thing we see that when we take a look at this image. The continuum between understatement and exaggeration is a very important design principle. The notion of creating active and static uh, imagery. Opacity will be really important and as we blend uh, objects together. Sense of perspective will also help us create that sense of depth, like the, uh, much like the foreground background principle. Sharpness versus diffusion. If you look at the green object on the left, the uh, soft vignette draws our attention to the black object that's dead center. 
if you look at the red button on the right, um, the diffused highlight creates the creates the sense of uh, three dimensionality, as and making it look like this uh, flat circle is actually reflecting light and creates a sense of uh, 3D space. Framing is a really important principle. The object on the left, our subject, the man, is framed by the background. Or the picture on the right, the mountain, is framed by the foreground. And lastly, we have time and motion to deal with as we apply of all of our objects to the motion graphic projects that we will be producing. The cool thing about design is that it is a constant challenge and it's not to be taken lightly and hopefully you guys will start to uh, get as interested in it as I am.